noted Carnatic musician Kiranavali Vidya Shankar received a prestigious project grant from the Pew Center for Arts and Heritage in 2014. Her project, Tradition and Evolving Continuum, was a pioneering effort to bring together Carnatic musicians residing in the United States and explore the dynamic processes of tradition and evolution in the context of Carnatic music. Besides conceptualizing, directing, and composing the music for this project, Kiranavadi led it as the vocalist and Chitravina artist. I am a Carnatic musician born and raised in India. I come from a family of musicians uh, who are very well known. Um, and I'm the third generation musician in my family. It's always been my idea to create a different platform for musicians like me in this country who come with very rich traditions behind them from India, but who have made their homes in this country. And uh, they, they contribute so much to the areas in which they live. The overall, the Indian diaspora is much enriched by the music that they bring with them. There has never been one single platform that has brought us all together. So it's, it's been a long cherished dream of mine to make that happen. We've already established a wonderful rapport with all of them and uh, we've been having so much fun doing the rehearsals. So. The subject of instruments and their evolution has always fascinated me and I was happy to bring that into this project as one of my main studies. I grew up in India so I was privileged and I was lucky to have direct lessons with all my gurus. Shiva, the Hindu god, when he did the Thandavam, he danced to the beats of uh, the Mridangam, which was played by Nandi, who is the a bull. Uh, there is reference to the Mridangam from those times, and you can see Nandi, the bull god, uh, hold a double-headed drum, which is believed to be the Mridangam. And uh, there is reference to the origin of Mridangam coming from there. In the recent times, uh, Mridangam is a primary accompaniment that's used for dance that's used for bhajans or devotional music and it's also the primary percussion instrument that accompanies the South Indian classical form of music which is also known as the Carnatic music. Hello, my name is Murari. I'm the violinist for this production by Kronavali for the Few Grand. Here uh, you have certain uh, invisible boundaries but uh, you have the leverage to uh, exhibit your talent as a soloist as well as as a team player, uh, which makes uh, my role very interesting. Violin is an example of a Western instrument that adapted to Carnatic music seamlessly, becoming the quintessential melodic accompaniment in a Carnatic concert today. My name is Nirmala Rajasekhar. I am a Carnatic musician, a South Indian vocalist, and a veena player. This beautiful instrument is the Saraswati veena, one of the oldest instruments in the world, and certainly one of the three oldest instruments from India. <laughs> thrilled to be part of this project with Kiranavali and when she asked me a couple years ago about being part of this uh, vision of hers to talk about how things are from traditional cultures are also in a continuum I certainly wanted to support this project as a fellow Carnatic musician as a woman composer as a teacher and I wanted to extend um, all that I can do to help this project. Hi, I'm Murli Krishnan, shortly known as NMK. I'm very excited to be part of uh, Kirnavaliji's uh, tradition continuum project. The instrument I'm playing is, though it looks like has keys black and white, but this is a different keyboard. Uh, this is uh, tuned to Carnatic music. 
It's been exciting to work with some of the uh, great musicians across the globe for this project and looking forward to bring this Carnatic keyboard to the world. You know, we, we play in unison and we have separate sections for us and um, well thought off and it's a, it's a great experience to work with all the musicians around. Thank you. Both the keyboard and saxophone are relatively recent additions to the art form, having their roots in Western music. Hi, I'm Prashant Radhakrishnan. I'm playing saxophone in this new project by Kiranavali Vidya Shankar called Tradition and Evolving Continuum. I'm really happy to be here rehearsing with the group, um, with great musicians all over the country. And we've all arrived here working on these new compositions that Kiranavali has written. And so I'm excited to be part of it. Hi, um, I'm Ravi Balasubramanian, and uh, I'll be playing the gutam in the in this project, uh, which is called the Traditions and Evolving Continuum. Uh, the gutam is um, is a clay pot uh, made of uh, special clay and um, additive materials. Um, so it has a very nice uh, metallic tone and some bass sounds. Here's how it sounds. I am Akshay Ananta Padmanabhan and I am the Konakol and Kanjira artist for this project. So I started learning the Mridangam, which is you know, the, usually the first percussion you learn as, as an Indian percussionist. And this, I started in India, in Bombay. After a couple of years, my parents moved to the US. Yeah, this project is quite a unique one in the sense that uh, it's, it's the first of its kind that's even been commissioned by Pew um, for Carnatic music. And I'm very happy to be a part of it and honored to be a part of it. Um, you know, as a full-time performing musician myself, it's great to be in, in, in uh, collaboration with other such musicians. I was awarded the grant by the Pew Center for Arts and Heritage and I'm very thrilled about it not only because it's come to me as an artist individually but, but because it's the first time they've recognized uh, Carnatic music uh, in a major project grant. The project culminated in a two-part performance on November 7, 2015 at the Painted Bride Arts Center in Philadelphia presented by Shruti, the city's Indian Music and Dance Society. The first half of the performance, Tradition, focused on the core aspects that define, shape, and sustain Carnatic music. The music fair comprised compositions drawn from traditions across different centuries, regions, and included spontaneous improvisation, one of the key elements of Carnatic performances. On behalf of Sruti and Tenali Vidya Shankar, welcome. It's a pleasure to see all of you here. Enjoy the first part of the concert. Thank you. the tradition part of the concert, Kirnavali chose to present a Thevaram that dates back to the 7th century AD, representing the beginning stages of Carnatic music. Thevarams are traditionally sung using Dravidian melodies or pan. This particular Thevaram in a pan called Natapade. You are witnessing here exchanges of melodic improvisation for the second piece of the concert. In 
In the second, third, and fourth pieces, Kirnavali showcased items from the classical traditions featuring the major composers such as Tyagaraja, Muttaswami Dikshitar, and Purandaradasa. The pieces involved interactive, improvisational rounds with the violinist in the form of Raga Alapana and Kalpanaswaras. Here you see the violinist elaborate on the grand ancient raga, Shankara Bharanam, which can be equated to the major scale of Western classical music. This fifth piece is what is considered the main piece of a Carnatic concert. This comprises the Ragam Tanam Pallavi, which is a purely improvisational piece that was the primary form of expression before compositions became a vital force in Carnatic music. Kirnavali's main piece reflects one of the oldest performing traditions of Carnatic music through the Ragam Tanam Pallavi. The Ragam Tanam Pallavi comprises the Ragam Alapana, the Tanam, Naraval, and Swarams. This second segment is the Tanam portion of the Ragam Tanam Pallavi. <laughs> This is the third Pallavi segment. This is a form of improvisation called Nerabal, in which you hear the artist elaborate on the ragam within the framework of one line of lyric. You hear a stark contrast in the form of a ragam change in this ragam tanam Pallavi. The vocalist and violinist venture through an array of other hardcore ragas throughout these segments of the ragam tanam Pallavi.
see a return to the main ragam Shankarabharanam, which you will see occurring throughout the piece. Pallavis are considered the outlets for showcasing one's scholarship over the musical technicalities, including speed and gait changes, and grasp of the more advanced concepts in music. This is another form of improvisation called Kalpana Swaras. In her Nerval and Kalpana Swaram segments, Kirnavali showcased a variety of ragams returning back to Shankarabharana. Now 
the percussion instruments have their opportunity to shine, both together and through solos, in what is called the Tani Avartaram, improvising in a climatic way to conclude the Ragam Tanam Pallavi. It is customary to feature many different types of compositions in the post main part of the concert. Kirnavali featured items such as Javali, Tildana, Tirupugal, and Kavari Chinde, representing pieces from the classical, devotional, and folk traditions. You see here a Kavari Chinde or Tamil folk tune performed. <laughs> Tenum, 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 tenum